Welcome to another episode of Women in Focus, our Women in Focus. Today is a radio personality in Chandigarh. She's come to us from Chandigarh here. Her name is R.J. Sangmitra. Uh, Sangmitra, you're most welcome in our program. How are you doing? Very fine, very fine. I would like to quote in Hindi that Roshan ho gaya hai ye kamra, ye rasta, kyunki do aurat hai hain par and because our topic today is women in focus that That's is right. we're talking about women empowerment and how women are actually thriving the society so i am very pleased to be here and it's amazing to have <laughs> you come and talk about this thank you. Thank and you so your much. diction is beautiful in uh, hindustani yes um Singhmita, name is so beautiful. You were telling mm. me something about oh, the yeah. story. Oh, yeah. So tell me, how did it come up? So, uh, you know, we normally uh, joke around with my father that uh, my father wanted to be King Ashoka. <laughs> so that's why he named me Sangmitra today. So, um, as I've just said that uh, she was King Ashoka's daughter. Uh. And that's where it's coming from. <laughs> I have a sore throat today, so probably I'll just sip some more. It's, it sounds very husky and, husky? and nice. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> it does. So. Uh, has radio always been your uh, first love? Um, see, uh, the story starts from um, ever since I was a school kid. Mm. Uh, I think I was in class 7th or so. So um, this Desh Bhagat radio was a newly set up radio station and Ooh. they were inviting young students, young s children to just come and you know uh, be a radio host or right. just give slight capsules over radio. Right. So that's where my uh, journey started, my love for radio started. So my first um, show was uh, Sangmitra Diaries. Oh, so, I see. Uh, you know, th these were uh, little <laughs> stories, inspirational stories. So while I used to, you know, prepare those stories, hmm. I used to myself get motivated. It's like, it's always like what you what you uh, preach or what you tell everybody it's actually what you become mm. so uh, you know while writing down the stories or while you know m you know just framing the content for the radio i used to learn a lot so that inspired me to you know uh, to become a better human being actually so Beautiful. it was an inter internal more of an internal journey than uh, yeah the outward. <laughs> so you said uh, when you were in grade seven. Around seven. Seven. Yes. yes. So. So uh, this was my summer holiday. I used to come here during my summer holidays. Uh -huh. So you know, I used to have this. Uh, so where were you studying then? Uh, so I was studying in my uh, school in Chandigarh. Okay. So Saint Stephen School was my school, and then uh, during the summer holidays, I used to like visit the radio station, uh, Desh Bhagat Radio, and then I used to give these uh, stories, stories, and, and all that's that. where the interest, I think, developed. So, so talking about uh, mom and dad and your family yeah. uh, in Chandigarh. So Chandigarh is considered to be one of the most beautiful cities, yeah. modern city, I would say, yeah. in India. Can you tell us a little bit about that for those who don't know? Oh yeah, so uh, Chandigarh is one of the developed cities uh, in the country, uh, well planned and um, most of uh, the crowd is, uh, I would say most of the crowd is working class yet very educated. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful city to live in. Okay, yes. and, and your, your family lives? Yes, my family uh, is uh, residing there. Right. So, uh, I love my city. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> How many in the family? Uh, so, like I have a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm married now. Yes. So, a husband. Okay. Oh. <laughs> my parents. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, so, yes. just uh, brother, and, brother sister and sister and mom and dad. Yes, yes, and, yes. And how was childhood? How was it? I mean, mm. you know, living in a very modern city. Yeah. Um, aspirations as to what you yeah, want to do. Yeah. Did you tell your parents you wanted to be a, a radio jockey? No, actually, surprisingly, I have uh, I have done law from uh, five year law from Punjab University. No kidding. So so I did my law and to, then to make mom and dad happy. Uh, actually, I didn't know what to do. at that time. <laughs> so I thought law was the best option. I did medical in plus one plus two uh, uh, because uh, somewhere my parents wanted that I should be a dentist. I wish oh. I was a dentist today, but it's okay. No, no regrets. No regrets. I'm happy eh? where I am. <laughs> so uh, then I didn't want to uh, go into medical some, somehow, you know, something happened. Mm. I don't know. Then law seemed to be, I, I got through law. So then I thought, okay, why not? Let's give it a try. And law never goes waste. No. I think everybody should do law. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is very, very essential. So after that, I did my uh, master's from uh, University of Southampton. I mm -hmm. did a master's in management. Mm -hmm. So after that, I came back to India. And then 
I've done again. Then I kept on studying. Uh, then I did my MA English. Mm -hmm. I did my B. Ed. While I was married mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a little bit working, like simultaneously. Right. So like I was like managing everything, <laughs> marriage and you know uh, my studies. Yes. So uh, then after that, I did my masters in uh, journalism and uh, mass communication. Beautiful. So that's how like my journey has been and now I'm working. So you're a very well educated woman. You can say that. I mean, I actually <laughs> know quite a few things. Uh, at least I know the basics and uh, I know nobody can fool me. <laughs> I think that's very important. <laughs> yeah. And fool you in, in what way? It's for example in, law, you know, achha, it's like if someone says this, 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 then at least I know what act to read, what act to read, what act to read. So, no, so my friends are my colleagues, so right. I, can, I can... You can always me. ask I them. Mean, I mean, I, I, at least I know what I will... Uh, searching what I will search right so yeah so, so no, you that's why I say one sh everybody should study law law <laughs> but you know a four or five years of studying law isn't it a boring uh, not at all actually no, because not for uh, you, every hey? semester has different uh, subjects okay like constitutional law family law and so on and so forth so it was quite intriguing in fact because you get to know so many things that are happening around you and you take the law, law perspective uh, to it. Mm -hmm. So in fact, it was very, very interesting for me. I enjoyed it. I was one of the good students there. You're right. I mean, you should ask my teachers anyways, <laughs> but I think I was. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was, right. it was fun. The only challenging part was actually, you know, remembering the section numbers, the article numbers. And, you know, uh, to memorize it yes, all. And then, you know, uh, re reiterating it in the exam. So right. that was something a little, uh, I couldn't remember numbers probably, properly. So that was the only challenging part. <laughs> now, uh, many people that we talk about, hmm. um, talk to uh, hmm. about India yeah. and the education system over there. Yeah. People say that there is more theory than practical teaching. Right. Is that true? Um, or is uh, it changing now? Uh, it is changing to a great extent because uh, when I did law, we had uh, the theory, of course. Of after, along with that, we had internships. Oh, okay. So we did go through the practical aspect to it. Okay. We did have moot courts. So that was mock courts. Right. So there, there is no such, uh, I wouldn't say that uh, it was all theory. Definitely it is backed by practical, which is very, very essential for uh, you know, actually, mm -hmm. you know, learning the on-ground realities mm -hmm. of uh, work. Um, I think the only part missing is the practice, the practice part. So I right. think that comes after you, after you, well, after you start working. And yeah. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really face that kind of a problem. Yeah. I, I uh, really liked uh, the part in which you said, you know, you uh, kept on studying and you got yeah. married and even then you kept on studying. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about this guy that you got married oh. and how did you meet him and, and oh. is it an arranged marriage or is it a, <laughs> is it a, is it a love marriage? But let's yeah. take a short commercial sure. break and come sure. back, okay? Sure. Sangmitra is a woman in focus today. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Women in Focus. Our Women in Focus today is Sangmitra, who's here visiting from Chandigarh. Yeah. Now, Chandigarh and Vancouver. How long have you been in Vancouver for now? So, it's been like two weeks now. How, how has your trip been? Good, good. This is my second time in Canada. Oh, lovely. So, I'm enjoying it. It's good. Yes. Yeah. So, you've come at the, the best weather. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's at the brink of uh, changing. Uh, That's right. Weather. We are yeah. in fall now. Yeah. And fall will means rain, rain, yeah. nothing but rain. Yeah. There was a time when uh, Vancouver had uh, eight months of rain okay. and four months of other, oh, okay. you know, right. uh, weather patterns. Yeah. So you mentioned that uh, you got married. And so let's talk about the oh, marriage part. Yeah. How, how did that come about? Were you... In so I've never talked about my uh, personal life ever on camera. Huh. This is my first time ever. So it was a love marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you haven't talked about it? <laughs> uh, I'm I mean, there are many other things to talk on, so right. probably this is the last thing I would ever, <laughs> ever choose. So, yeah. so when and how did you meet him? 
Yeah, so it is kind of a funny story. I was probably in class twelfth, uh, 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 mm. no, first year of my law. Mm. So I met this person. Uh, we had gone to this. Uh, I was in Road Track Club, Chandigarh. It's it's an internationally known club. Okay. So I was there. Uh, the, the name of my club was Road Track Club, Chandigarh Himalayan. So he was also there. So we went to this old age home. So uh, we were supposed to like meet and greet all the old people, and you know. Celebrate uh, with them. He had cut a cake and everything, so it was a nice uh, ambience. Yeah. So that's where I first saw him. Okay. So you saw him, or you worked with him? Uh, no, no, we were just, like just just saw him. Yeah, okay. he was in the club. I was mm -hmm. in the club, and that's how I just okay. saw him. Mm -hmm. And then that's about it. And probably uh, uh, we were there on Facebook, Facebook friends, and uh, then no communication, just like on Facebook and you right. know, just like that. Yeah. And then when I went to England at that time, I. Uh, somehow got in touch with him, and that's how I think the equation started to right. run again. Because we knew, like we knew, uh, many years back we had met once. Yes, yes. Uh, it's quite filmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very filmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, like, I thought that he, oh my God, he's too handsome. I don't think I'm going to, like, uh, I don't think I'm in his league. I see. <laughs> so and I never got in touch. And with what him. did he think of you? Uh, he he said he liked me. He thought yes. I was sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and probably he was thinking the same thing. Maybe. She is so pretty, and no. I'm not in her league. Yeah, yeah. There's a possibility, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. you think so? I think so. <laughs> yeah. And so so how was the the wedding? Was it a yeah. big affair? Was it a small affair? Um, it was a good enough affair, a big affair, you know, yeah. the, the big fat Indian wedding, <laughs> as you all know it. So it was a good affair, and. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a Hindu marriage. Yes. So, yeah, that's how it went. So, you had to go around the fire yes, and all yes, that, okay. Yes. A woman can't expect that, you know, she will have a same uh, lifestyle as she was having with her parents. Right. That's, of course, not there. You know, you there is a certain well. kind of a pampering that takes place, you know, uh, when on you're that a child? side of life. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And then after marriage, of course, you need to take up your responsibilities and you need to manage all that. I'm sure you, you can understand and relate to. Uh, yeah, I've got white hair, so I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but yet he's very, very supportive, you know. Very uh, nice. I wouldn't have been here, I mean, if he wasn't supportive. It's, let's put it that way. Very because, nicely yeah. said, because I think it's very important to find a partner that is supportive of you. Yes. And I've yeah. been noticing this quite a bit with the the generation that you belong to yeah. in India young men are very supportive of their wives yeah. um, do you see that it's your generation that has brought the change or is it hmm. natural or normal no, no, it's definitely our generation yes. I mean I'm not taking all the credit <laughs> that's okay but, if you do but uh, but definitely, you know, yeah. uh, with every generation, the, a little bit of there is a change. There yes. is a change. So definitely, uh, there is a change, and uh, uh, the, the youth of uh, my uh, uh, generation, I would call the mini millennials. Yeah. Mm. So they are a very, very independent to mm. a great extent. Um, they have a mind of their own. Yes. Um, so I think that's very important, and. Uh, Yet they maintain a balance between their work life and their personal life. Very so good. That needs to be maintained. I mean, I do not feel any kind of a difference uh, living here and living in India because mm. I think I do like I do the cooking. Mm. Uh, so uh, there's hardly any difference mm. uh, except for like, of course, we do have like cleaners and yes. you know uh, yeah, you guys are lucky so, there yeah so that's <laughs> one lucky part but otherwise i think the women have to balance their work and their uh, their uh, personal life so he also helps you with the cooking and um, cleaning uh, not really but yeah he he makes good parantas he does eh yes that's a plus point <laughs> <laughs> i think i should next time tell him to come with me yes <laughs> that would be fantastic yeah i want to come back to your uh, profession yeah. So let's take a very short commercial break sure. and come back. Sure. Sangmitra is a woman in focus today. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Women in Focus. Our woman in focus today is a broadcaster. Her name is Sangmitra Arche. So radio jockey? Yes, radio okay. jockey. So do you play music? Yes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so a lawyer did mass communication 
did your MA in English, went and studied in uh, Northampton or Southampton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southampton. Southampton. Yes, yes I remember yes. that. And yet you became a media person. Yeah. Why? Uh, see, as my last degree was in uh, mass communication, okay. so that that actually was, uh, um, I mean, that that, that actually says clincher. it all. Okay. That why I wanted to, you know, uh, in which field I wanted to divert myself in. Right. And uh, as I just said, uh, like you know, this uh, kida of uh, you know being a radio presenter and you know coming in front of the camera, it was somewhere ever since I was a kid. I used to like fancy, you know, like all the. Uh, Bollywood celebrities yes. and you know watch the paparazzi videos <laughs> just to watch all that and then of course when I started doing those uh, capsules at Vish Bhagat Radio so that's when the starting point when I actually got a platform and I thought oh yeah I'm actually enjoying it mm -hmm. it's a, because after all it's a creative uh, field I mean it's beautiful. So now that's not a commercial radio station. It's a community radio station. It's a community radio yeah. station. So yeah. would you move from that and go into a commercial venture as well? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment because um, I'm currently the station head of okay. Pradesh Bhagat Radio uh, right. as well as an RJ. So uh, currently I think I'm happy. I'm happy. I think your media is on a very fast pace. It's very strong, basically. Yeah. The Indian media is very, very strong. I mean, there are... When you say strong in uh, what? Strong, it means there are multiple channels, TV, radio, mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, with the advent of social media, everybody can be on, uh, you know, they can share their views, mm. social media, YouTube is there. Mm. So, you know, it's like very, very, uh, it's easily, uh, people accessible. can easily accessible and mm. they can easily put their views out. Mm. So that's why I say ki every person can actually, uh, you know, become a journalist mm. now. That's how, how accessible it is. But they are not journalists yeah. because there are ethics for journalists, yes, yes. Uh, which do not apply to people who just think they are journalists, right? right? I right. mean, if you put a microphone in front of somebody, it does not become a broadcaster. True, right? true, very true. So there true. has to be a training. Yes, yes. As to uh, in fact, I would like to like uh, I would like to tell all my viewers here mm. that uh, it is very very important to actually have a fact check mm. of the news. So, uh, for example, if you watch any um, any news, so you should multiple you know sh you should have multiple references. Mm -hmm. Don't just go on one TV channel or mm. news channel. You should go on different uh, news channels. So cross references should be there to check the authenticity of the news mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, these days uh, there is this uh, option on google uh, it's called image reverse search mm. so it's like if you just put a if i just put a picture get a picture of this uh, uh, cup here mm. mug here and i just click it put it on google and then mm. uh, the google will list out all the uh, search uh, mm -hmm. results mm -hmm. on the page. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there are multiple ways of actually cross-checking it. And then uh, there are these government websites like PTI uh, Fact Check, PIB Fact Check. Mm -hmm. So they actually list out the fake news. I mean, mm. if you just visit the Twitter website, PTI, PIB Fact Check, uh, you'll just see that they have a, they've written like, they have a stamp, fake news. So that's a government authenticated uh, portal where one can actually check where we find it authenticated. So how do you find the media landscape in India? Is it, is it fantastic? Is it improving or is it? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> very thoughtful actually. <laughs> so uh, see, uh, in terms of number, quantity, you mm. can say it's improving. Yes, right? Okay. Number of TV channels, radio channels, they're coming up. Right. So of course that means many people can put forward their views. But on the contrary, uh, all the TV channels, they are, uh, I mean, they have to maintain their TRPs. Mm. They have to, uh, they have to make sure <laughs> that people watch them. Right. So for that, the sensationalization of the news has to be done. I mean, in their perspective. Yeah. So that way, it is not good for somebody who just wants to play news. You know, there is some mirch masala tadka. Always. I wouldn't say always, but people enjoy it. It depends on the viewers, you know. Even in um, even in things that we don't eat, we have to have tarka. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want boiled news, so that can be newspaper. That can work out. Or maybe like uh, some uh, 
uh, government websites, Google, Google de various news. I think that can help you if you want to have like boiled, right. detoxed news. <laughs> <laughs> that can work. How, how much do people rely on news on Google rather than their own TV channels? Yeah, so um, I think uh, a lot of people, they actually verify their their news mm. rather than just taking it up from uh, mm. any any new news channel it's always better again i'm just uh, uh, repeating it like you just cross reference that's that's, that's very that's important it. and then you do do your own research sangmitra where do you see yourself in the next 5 years mm. um i see myself um, somebody who uh, somebody who's known to the world that's Very something. nice. <laughs> <laughs> and aspirations of, uh, you know, going to a commercial radio station or would you like to continue with this? Yeah, I would like to continue with this. Because, because it has... Because, you know, the thing is that uh, this involves the community. Yeah. So we talk on community issues, like we have, uh, uh, we talk on various, uh, you know, ground level realities, mm. whether it's female feticide or, uh, you know, different kinds of uh, uh, different kinds of topics that mm -hmm. actually involve the society so there, we, there was a beautiful um, piece that I had gotten to listen to um, and it was a member of parliament who was talking about the drug addiction yeah. and alcoholism in Punjab hmm, hmm. Uh, is it as serious as she was making it out to be um, see I don't know how serious she was making it yeah. out to you but definitely this menace is there hmm. Uh, this menace is definitely there and uh, there are these NGOs mm. uh, who are actually working to to curb this okay like lately just before coming to Canada we had this uh, uh, we had this badminton uh, tournament that was held by an NGO mm. so it was to support you know sports in the country Beautiful. so people are working on it that's not uh, we we acknowledge that this menace is there but definitely there are NGOs uh, that are working on it the government is also working on it in terms of promoting sports amongst the youth beautiful, beautiful. so that is one so way of hope. keeping of course there is there is hope and i know i just normally uh, i mean i normally believe that khud wo badlav bane jo aap duniya mein dekhna chahte hain very well so, said let's be the change yeah and uh, that you want to see in the world yes, right yes 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 so you're a very smart woman thank you thank you <laughs> and thank you for being a woman in focus today thank you so much it was a pleasure being with you i enjoyed it <laughs> thank you sangmitra has been a woman in focus today don't go away we'll be right back